Hi, this is Brian Copeland. I'm a realtor in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm also the 2011 Young Professionals Network Chair for the National Association of Realtors. Let's take five minutes to talk about five essential ways to drive traffic to your real estate site. First, the first way is search engine optimization. We hear this term called SEO. This is the organic way to lead people to your website at all times. Now the way this happens mostly is through a text-rich website. You're gonna find this likely in your blog. Now, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people are scared of the term blog. So put it out of your vocabulary and think of yourself as a news reporter who's actually reporting the news in market reporting and simply you become the news reporter for your neighborhood. Now there's many, many ways that you can have a blog. Some people use a blogger, some use Active Rain, some use Trulia. Myself, I prefer WordPress. WordPress is a great way for search engine optimization to happen, and I use a theme on WordPress called Thesis. And we have our Nashville and Beyond website hosted on WordPress with that Thesis team theme, and Google really loves the Thesis WordPress theme. You're gonna see your search engine juice go very, very high. For example, when the iPhone 4 released back a few months ago, or actually a year ago, uh, the, there was a FaceTime function on it. And we were seeing that people weren't able to figure out how to make it work, so I did a blog that said, my iPhone 4 FaceTime is not working. Well, little did we know, we would end up as the number two web hit nationally, just behind Apple. So this kind of search engine optimization can really give you your juice, so ultimately the consumer can find your site. Now, the first way is search engine optimization. The second way is search engine marketing, or SEM. Search engine marketing is, for example, a Google pay-per-click link. This is what happens when someone Googles a term like Tallahassee real estate, and then at the top of the web browser or on the side, you're gonna see an ad. That's called a Google pay-per-click. Also in Facebook Marketplace, you have Facebook ads. This is also a pay-per-click function. Now, I'm a realtor just like you, so I still get those phone calls when I'm sitting at my desk that someone says, hey, you wanna be number one on Google? I wanna show you some search terms. I know it's kind of annoying, but if you're using the right search engine marketing platform, you're gonna see results that will actually bring the consumer to your website. So we've talked about search engine optimization, search engine marketing, let's talk about social media optimization. That's the third essential tip here in the five minutes. Social media optimization includes everything like Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, any aspect that is a social medium. Now, in April 2010, analytic programs like Google, Woopra, and any kind of uh, aspect that measures your analytics for your websites started measuring the traffic from Twitter and Facebook. What we're finding at my business alone is a great percentage, actually well over 15% of our traffic is coming from the links that we're placing on Facebook and Twitter. Now, hear me clearly on this one. You've gotta be very careful as a realtor to stay within your FRET guidelines with the Florida Real Estate Commission. You'll wanna make sure there's still your brokerage and phone numbers on there, your brokerage's name is there. But it's very important we stay compliant in social media. And then we're also being a good steward with our contacts. We don't want to constantly be blasting out our listings to, through our social media, but that's why we have the Facebook business page. And if you have a Facebook business page in place, you can add that with your Twitter. You can have people come into your website through that social media optimization. Of course, the third way. Now, tip number four, content. Great content. Make sure your content is salient. If today you went to CNN.com and it said Osama bin Laden had been captured, you would know that content is old. That's now old news. Why it's still important news, it's old. Imagine your consumer coming to your website and seeing news from 2010, 2009, or even news about 2004's amazing market here in Florida. It's not salient. Today's consumer needs to see content that is fresh, current, and up to the minute for them. Also, today's consumer wants to know exactly what's happening in their neighborhoods. You need to be talking about microblogging. You need to talk about the essential tiny areas of your neighborhood that only you know that perhaps that consumer is looking for because content is king. And finally, we've talked about search engine optimization, search engine marketing, social media marketing, and content. The final one for me, video marketing. You've got to have great video on your website to drive that traffic there. Now, here's the tip. There is a syndicator called TubeMogul.com. It will syndicate any video that you do to every video site out there with one simple click. 
What happens at that point is Google loves video. So if you have your video out there, you're gonna be able to tag that in YouTube, Viddler, Vimeo, wherever you choose. You'll be able to embed that on your website, in your social media aspects, and you're gonna be able to get all of that traffic to your website. So today we've talked about the five top tips I would give you to drive traffic to your website. So get out there, search engine optimize, search engine market, social media market, have great content, and get on video. Thanks.